Welcome to Wednesday Worship. We're so glad that you have joined us today. We just want to do this every week where we come away from whatever's going on for a few minutes and fix our eyes on Jesus and think about who he is and maybe sing a song, pray a prayer, uh, sort of reset our minds. So we're really glad that you joined us today. And I'm excited to introduce someone to you. This is my friend Jason Joy. He is new on staff at Faith Bridge and he's a super gifted guy in many areas, but uh, worship leader, guitar player, photographer, artist. So really glad that God has brought him to join our team. And um, we were talking about what song we might like to introduce and start doing in worship together. And we both really like this song, but um, Jason, what do you love about this song? What drew you to it? Um, yeah, the thing I love about this song, it's uh, Another in the Fire by Hillsong. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, especially in this time for me, um, it's a chaotic time. And it's, I know for myself, um, as pandemic aside, uh, I think um, I've had a lot of anxiety lately about my future, self-doubt, and um, it's just creeping in, you know, here and there every day, you know, laying in bed and it's creeping in. And I think that's the, the beauty also of this song is that um, uh, another in the fire standing next to me, I think it's saying um, regardless of my self-doubt, that's when... God gets to come through. That's mm -hmm. when God really gets to come through and shine and be God, be mm -hmm. all powerful God is when we can accept our self doubt and we can accept our weakness is when we can really mm -hmm. let God come through and shine, you know, and he can be the person holding back the waters. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, especially in this time for me, just getting to say that over myself and be like, God, I know you've got me. Mm -hmm. I know that you've, you're holding me in your hand and I surrender my own, dumb ideas and my own <laughs> uh, foolish uh, pride and yeah. my power that I think I have, but I really don't, you know, and yeah. it just getting to surrender that, surrender that to God, just, um, you just, there's a freedom. Yeah. yeah. So I think that song, that's what this song really expresses to me the most. Yeah. That's so good. We like, as a culture, we value strength. We value independence. We value being able to have it together. And that is not gospel thinking. That's not biblical. Like God knows better than we do our weakness. He knows we can't do anything good apart from him. And um, yeah, I love this song too. I think it, it kind of throws back to uh, stories in the Old Testament where God showed up. Um, another in the fire, I think that line specifically makes me think of the fiery furnace, you know, uh, most of us know the story. These three Jewish captives in Babylon were refused to worship this false God. And so they were thrown into the fiery furnace and the king looked in and said, didn't we throw three guys in? And there were four. And he said, and the fourth one looks like a God. And I think it's, uh, it's, it's one of those examples where Jesus stepped in and was literally standing with these men, rescuing them, honoring their faith. Uh, and then it alludes to the water, how, how God led his people through the water. And those stories are so encouraging to me. They fire me up because we have plenty to worry about, but we can look back and see how God is always faithful. He is always with us. Not that we won't have tough things, not that we won't have hurricanes and pandemics and struggle, but uh, God is there. He is carrying us through and he's using it uh, for our good. And so that's super encouraging. And so we want to introduce this song. We want to sing it for you and invite you to sing with us if you're able to join us. And um, just think about these words. Remember who our God is. And um, let's just take a minute to pray uh, before we sing this. And we're praying for you. We're praying that God makes you aware of his presence with you because he is with you wherever you are and, um, and he is working in your situation. I'm thinking about my friend who, whose husband just got a cancer diagnosis. I'm thinking about uh, my friend who deals with chronic illness. I'm thinking about those who are afraid right now because this hurricane is bearing down and we don't know what's gonna happen. And uh, we have you know, Harvey in our minds and we're remembering how difficult that was for so many of us. And um, so Lord, we just bring all these things to you, uh, knowing that you know what we need before we ask. You're our father, you're our shepherd, and you are with us in the fire and you are with us anywhere we go at any moment, at any time. And you are working and you're faithful. 
And so we pray that you'd bring comfort. We pray that you'd bring healing uh, to those who are struggling right now. We pray that you'd relieve anxiety. Uh, We pray that you would speak into places of fear. Uh, Just speak who you are, how you are peace, how you are leading us to life, no matter what may come. And uh, help us trust you, God. Give us great faith. In Jesus' name. There's a grace when the heart is on fire. Another way when the walls are closing in. And when I look at the space between where I used to be and this reckoning, I know that I will never be alone. There is another. Believe us as the prison walls came in. 
joy come every battle Cause I know that's where you'll be 